Hey there, fellow board game enthusiasts. It's Lamond here from Star Board Games, and today I've just received a new package full of gaming goodness to unbox. Okay, so, well, you already know what it is because it's written in the title. However, stay tuned because I still don't know what it is. So you get to see my reaction to the surprise that is still waiting inside the package here. And then we'll dive straight into the game unboxing. And if you love board games as much as I do, please hit that subscribe button now and check out my Patreon page, which is linked in the description, where your board game love is always appreciated. So let's dive into this unboxing adventure together. So here we have a medium sized box and I'm going to have a guess as to what's inside. So I use my trusty knife to carefully open the package so I don't accidentally destroy what's inside. It is uh, quite, it's a, it's a reasonable medium sized box, I think I'd have to say. My guess is, I think it's Ceres, uh, the Ceres Expedition. I think that's a bit of a, a dice -ish sort of terraforming Mars type of game. Let's have a look, I, it does look like it. Oh, I can't, yes, I think it might be looking at that just down there. And the colors that I see, I don't want to rip that open too much. I'm going to bring that out, chuck the box all the way over there. There we can see it there. There we have Ceres, there we go. So, I like the, the packaging. The box was all in one piece which is good, no damage, and it's got this nice bubble wrap on it as well. Nothing else left in that. That can be chucked over there. So we have here Ceres, as I said. Here we go, Ceres and Mars contracts. We have some extra card sleeves that are there. Uh, enough, I hope, for what we'll find in the box. We have an expansion Mars con contracts. We have an expansion Comets there. We have this lovely device here, a bit of plastic there. It looks like a bit of a dice tray. I'm not too sure exactly, I can't remember. It's been a while since I did a pledge on Kickstarter for this. But what do we have here? We have some metal bits there. That looks interesting. Some sort of metal. And honestly, it looks magnetic actually. I honestly can't remember what was in this order. So let's go through this. We've already seen we've got uh, two sets of small uh, size 46 by 69 millimeter cards. You can see there. So they will be easy to open, as you can see there, with that plastic coming off. That's great. We have one, two, three sets of premium size, premium card sleeve size 61 by 93 millimeters. That's 150 of those. Actually, make that another one. So 200 of those, four, four packs. Put those over there for now. I will come back to the expansions. Let's have a look at some of this other stuff we've got here first of all. So we've looked at this already and we've got metal alloys. That's what it is, metal alloys. So we have 20 of those metal alloys there in a nice Ziploc bag. Let's open that up, have a look, have a feel at a few of these. And nice way, nice feel to them. You can see that there. So that's great. I do like that. We now have Ceres Metal Coin. We have uh, 10 fives, 15 twos and 25 ones so you can see there and they they look quite brand shiny new i actually prefer it if they have a bit of a an old used look to them rather than the brand newness uh, however over time we might be able to get there make them look well used and they've got a nice heavy weight to them as well they are they are the real deal as far as metal coins go let's have a look at this pack now and it says here we have the series Kickstarter promos and mission patch. I love Ziploc bags. And as that comes out, we have a black cube there. 
don't know what that's for exactly. We have these look like promos. You can see the different size cards that we've got the different size sleeves for. So we'll open those as well. So I might, uh, I'll open those in a second. We have our mission patch, as they said. That looks like it's a Velcro mission patch. So that's quite a nice thing to have as well. You can put that on something, I don't know what, but there it is. We have uh, a nice drawstring black bag with series written on the front there. So a nice bag which you can pull things from. We have a couple of cards here. So we have nuclear fusion reactor and 3D printing station. And on the reverse side, we have asteroid base and fuel port station. So I like those cards, got no idea what they're for, but they do look good. And then we have a couple of punch outs. This is nice thick cardboard punch outs there. And look at the reverse side that we've got there. So a couple of ships and they are slightly different in their looks as well. You can see there. And we have these down the side. Again, I have no idea what they are there for. So I'll put all those over to that side now. And we've got the Kickstarter promo rules. We have additional facilities, as we can see there. Synergy facilities, dual facilities. Uh, that opens up that way, which is a bit unusual. That's okay. Uh, alternative favor tokens, additional cargo spacecraft tiles, and corporate agendas. On the there we go to then we go to machinery, Trojan asteroids, mega projects. So those are the the first green cards that we saw, and very hard automa. We have uh, FAQ and some credits at the back there. So they're the promo rules. Put all those just out of sight down here. Let's get into these card decks. I will actually do that at the end. Let's have a look in what's in the big box first of all. So it is quite heavy, decent size. I like the artwork on the front. It says uh, a captivating pl worker placement game set on the Dwarf Planet series. It's by uh, Tipia Games. So looking at the sides of the box, some nice artwork there on all the different sides. As you hear, everything crunching around inside. Uh, this is obviously the English version. You can see up there, English, Great Britain, USA. And we've got a bit of blurb there about the game, the contents, which we'll get to in a moment, that what it looks like on the play board. And it's for one to four players, a couple of hours playing time. Let's open it up. And we'll use the knife to slit down the sides of this shrink wrap that's covering it all up. Try not to get my big head in the way of the camera here. And go down those sides. We'll get rid of that top plastic and open it up. And inside the box, I haven't done anything special with the inside of the lid. However, look at all that gaming goodness in there. We have a whole lot of uh, discs, different colors. We've got uh, one, two, three, four different colors. So they'll be for each of the players. We then have cubes of each of the four different color colors for each uh, player. We have some astronaut meeples and some satellite meeples I think in there as well and we've got red yellow orange purple green red yellow orange purple green. we've got five okay so looks like we have might have another one for another player maybe the orange one I'm not too sure what the green looks like a, a different color it's not one of these colors anyway the green isn't here so green might be the AI I'm not too sure We've got a healthy number of Ziploc bags, some large ones, that's good. So four, obviously, to put each player's pieces in. And then we also have one, two, three, four of these smaller bags, Ziploc bags. 
Again, I suspect one for each player's pieces. We've got four translucent or clear cubes. We have these little lightning bits and 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 other bits. I don't know what the bits are exactly. Maybe I don't know, it's like coal or something like that. Three different colours and that. What's that? Is that a pentahexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six sided thing that is there. So we have those. Uh, we have our cards that are here. I'll pull that to one side so I don't get everything mixed up. I'll put those cards just on this side for now. We have our Automa rules. Uh, so we've got the components there, changes in the setup. It's stapled together. Uh, I do like this booklet. The feel of it feels very nice indeed. Uh, again, we go through everything you need to know in the game, the activation phase, end of the round phase, end of the game. So very simple, very easy rules, which is one of the reasons I believe I went for this game is that it looked fairly easy and get to the table, especially if I've got new play, new board gamers uh, that uh, haven't had a lot of time playing board games. So we've got here uh, mining probe tokens, that's what they were called. Leader tokens, influence tokens, we've seen them. Uh, markers or my or markers, we saw those. Advanced ceramics and energy markers, that was the lightning that I saw. Uh, we've got a few other things we're yet to see at the moment, won't uh, surprise that too much uh, by saying what they are by reading the book. I'll just go through that quickly so that you can see that it is laid out very nice. I do like the colours, obviously a lot's been thought about in terms of like uh, that, how that's been put together. So I do like that. Put that up the top there. We now have these one, two, three, four, five game cards. And it looks like, I think that's probably the Automa game card, the one that's on top. Just a simple black, and it does say there Automa, I missed that as I was uh, looking at other stuff. So that's the Automa game card. I put that over there. And now these, are they all the same on that side? They look all the same on that one side. And if we flip them over, they look slightly different on the other side. So we've got fours and twos. How different here? Yeah, they are they are fairly different. That we can see there now. If I flip that over, that is different yet again. So we've got an A side and a B side. There's our A sides. And I think they are all the same. Yeah, all the A sides are the same. And it's the B sides that makes the players have differential powers or differential abilities to make it asymmetric. I like that. We have in here, I have to tip this on its side and tip it out like that. This is in shrink wrap as well. Nice thick cardboard. I don't know if you can see that thickness of the cardboard that's there and I do like that. This has already been pre-assembled, this style. I like that as well. Let's just slip that knife in there carefully. So I can now peel away this shrink wrap. Down and away it goes. Take that off, take that off. Throw all the plastic off to one side. Put it on a bit of a skew side like that so I can lift it up and show you. So wow, this is this is in indeed quite how's this work? Ah, uh, flip saper like that. Wow. Wow, I like that. Look at that. It's already been put together. That is just brilliant. You can see there that's part of a scoring track. So these two obviously go together, the one underneath it as well. The dials here working really nicely and they line up nicely. It's got that new new board game smell. It's equivalent to that new car smell, but I can really smell that, that cardboard. It's dark on that side, but I do love that. Let's have, have a look at that straight away. We get to see some of the variations that we can get here by turning these dials around and creating 
different combinations there. So that's that half. Now we've got this looks like a, a bottom half here. Well, I think it's going to be thirds actually. Don't worry about halves. I think we've got thirds happening. And I reckon if I turn all that around, you can see how that just there slips into these sections right here. So now we're getting a better picture of this giant board and I do love it. It's, you know, it seems such a simple game, but simple games with big boards are even better, I think. I'll put that one over there. Let's have a look at this board in a bit more close-up detail. Just make it so we can just get it all in there. And again, the thickness of the cardboard is good. Um, the way it folds together and the way it's obviously going to lock, interlock together with the segments. Let's have a look at just this, this side at the moment. We've got the Launch Complex, Contractors Association, Construction Yard. Yeah, I am loving it. that track uh, going along the bottom there. Put the, that over there. And do we have another? Yes, we do. That looks like it's the bottom segment of the, I'm going to call it the bottom segment of the board anyway, that interlocks with that middle. So it is in thirds. You can see there, uh, track starts at zero right there with my fingers pointing. We've got a docking bay, uh, all sorts of other things. And again, just that matte black on the other side. So <clears throat> very impressed with that. Okay, punch board bits and pieces here that come out. Uh, they look like they might have been uh, coins before. I'm not sure of that. We've got ones, twos, and fives. But all of these other bits that come out as well, obviously covering up bits of that board game mat. And there's the other side of that. So we've got uh, code CRP punch board PB1F. Put that over there. We've got punch board two side B. An F side there, so let's flip that over. You can see everything that's there. Uh, punch board three. Let's have a look at that one. So we've got corporate HQ. I like I like these tiles as well. I love that matte finish, linen finish. Actually, you might be able to see that cross hatch linen finish. Uh, I really love that. Uh, feel to a game and the components as well. And this is punch board four, you can see there PB4. So again, another corporate HQ. Uh, so lots of stuff to punch out there. Okay, let's get back to some of this other stuff now. I'm trying to do this in a semblance of order. I will, now I'm going to open these cards that came in this box. We'll go through them quickly so we can see them all. I've got series on that side. So we have uh, Satellite, Trade Center, Heat Trappers, Civilian District. Actually, I think I had, no, one. Thought I had two cards at once. Strip Mine, Solar Panels. The reason I thought I had two cards is because they're quite thick. I do like that again. Ice Storage. Supply Depot, uh, Power Station, Fuel Factory, Radio Station, Solar Farms, Repair Station, Ceres Hangar, Metals Corp, Space Station, Control Tower, Hypertube, Mega Station, Ceres Shipyard, and Amac HQ. So that's those cards. That came with the base game. Yes, yeah, so I'll struggle putting them back, but it has a nice sealing mechanism which keeps them nice and safe and separate from the rest, which is also good. Let's open this so we might be able to see that metal strip along there. If I follow it to the side, hopefully, I'll get a place where I can undo it and I'm not having much luck at the moment finding where that actually undoes. I suspect right there. 
and there we go. Now it comes off. So that shrink wrap comes off of this set of cards. Throw that on the floor. Let's have a look at the back of some of these. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That look like player colors. Just gonna go through these separately. And that side is the same on all of them. If I flip them over, we've got, so these are the player aid cards. Round overview for each player in each of the player colors. Very good. Let's have a look at this next set. We have these with this back on them, series. And they all have that same back. Flipping them over, just go through them quickly. Slight differences, arrows on them. And the rest of these cards all have that back, that same back on them. I flipped them all over. Let's go through these. And actually, now that I'm on this side, uh, I'll do it this way. You can see there we have the different colors for different players. So it looks like each player will get maybe a set, I think. Maybe not. It could just mean different things, actually, uh, such as different technologies. So I won't preempt what they are. Let's go through them. So nuclear lab. Have one, two, three of those financed lab. Three of those energy research labs. Three of those research lab. Three of those. Now into blue, we have tech factory. Three of those assembly factory. Three of those manufacturing unit. Three of those construction unit. Three of those minerals mine. Three of those ice mine, three of those asteroid mine times three, rocket base. And I am noticing actually that there are differences. You can see down the bottom there, there are differences there with the stars down the bottom there. So that is interesting in itself. And I think actually uh, all the pictures are actually different as well. And I, again, something I, I really like to see different pictures on all the cards rather than recycling the same picture. Let's continue. Communication station. Uh, three of those transaction hub. Three of those collaboration hub. Three of those and trade depot. Three of those. We now have some people. I'm going to call them people, AI robots. You can see Rhea, Kronos, we have an Automa launch pad, Automa launch pad again, two of those, Automa factory, two of those, Automa lab, two of those, Automa office, two of those. And then we have these cards and we've got a couple of the same symbols on each of them, three there, two there. So just go through those again, we've got two of those, we've got three of those and two with the shaking hands. So that's all the cards that come in the box. I'm going to put some of these things back just like that for now and chuck the top on. So that's what that is what was in the box for series. I'm actually going to open up these two card packs now so we get to see what is in these. And we can see there we actually again have that little gold strip which helps us to open up this packet. And I can find just enough fingernail to help me open that up. So let's have a look at these bonus cards that came with the Kickstarter. The promo packs. We have the Worker Dorms, Research Probe, Waste Center, Astrolab. We have Be the First to Construct Two Facilities. Uh, two, sorry, of those grey facilities, two red facilities, blue, green, eight or more, and that looks like ore, to produce four or more of those blue cubes. We've got that one, batteries, power, another cube with victory on it. Be the first to choose the blue favour. L1 research programs, be the first to claim an inner ring asteroid, uh, an asteroid on all three rings, 
uh, to have an outstation worth 12 or more. Construct one facility of each type. So these are looking good. We've got Achilles, Odysseus, Patroclus, Patroclus, Agamemnon, Paris, Hector, Priamus, and Aeneas, Aeneas. So that's the small promo cards. I can't put them back in anything. This is the large promo card. And again, you can sort of see that metal bit there, which helps us to undo this a bit easier. It's not that much easier. It's not working at that corner, which is a bit of a shame, a bit of a pity. Maybe just in there. Can I get my finger? Can I get my finger on that side? So just have to use a bit more force with that one. I'm going to cut into it that way. Oh, hold on, no, just as I do that, I can see. There we go, the bit that I was after, the little raised bit. Okay, off that plastic goes, and we have Ceres on the back, and a little bit of that metal stuff is just wanting to stick to that card. Now it's gone. So we have a few different backs to these promo cards. Let's go through this lot first. We have the Grand Nuclear Lab, uh, Grant Funded Lab, Ice Lab, Advanced Lab, High Tech Factory, Ceramics Factory, Probe Factory, Robotics Unit, Construction Zone, Grand Ore Mine, Grand Ice Mine, Subsidy Office, Launch Station, Grand Office, Political Office, Contractors Office, Trade Operations Centre, and the Exchange Bureau. Looking at this next set of cards that have this type of back, turning them over, we have Machinery. Uh, now they look, do they look, all, now they are different. You can see there the difference between them. So these are all different bits of machinery. Let's start at the beginning here. That one going through, another, and they look like they've all got different artwork again. Again, you know, I love that different artwork to look at while you're playing the game. Finally, we have these cards from our promo. We have Hades, Persephone, Poseidon, and Zeus. So really good stuff there. Those are all our promo cards that came separate to the box of series itself. Those off to one side. Let's open up this bit of plastic that's just been waiting here. Now, there's no zip lockiness for this, so I'm going to just punch in there and then go down the side like that, which I'll have to. I don't think I'll end up keeping this plastic. I don't know, I just, I don't see a way of rigging that back in nicely. Uh, what's it say? Oh, there we go. Component bowls, three, three D printed. So they are for our components to sit in, so can put them around the table. I do like that. Uh, putting those over there. Let's go to the bigger of the two expansions, Mars contracts. There's the box. There are the sides. You can see there, and you can. I, I like it when the artwork for the front wraps around to the sides and the base, as you can see there. Looking at the underside of the whole box, there again, usual blurb, um, what's in the box, uh, and a bit of how to lay it out, maybe. A bit of a question mark at the end of that, maybe. So we'll get to have a look what's in the box. So I suspect there's more box than there is componentry in here. That's usually the way with expansions like this. Put that over there. We've got a couple of Ziploc bags uh, for good measure. We have a few more tokens because obviously we will need those with an expansion. We have this set of larger cards, the series cards. And if I can get this out nicely, we have, a first of all, we'll go through the expansion rules for the game setup 
And this one is a fold out, fold out rule booklet. You can see there, game setup, again, going through the phases, end of game, favor token, and finally, again, for the automate rules that are there, we have a few punch boards here. So let's have a look at these punch boards. There's one, MC, PB, one, so that's some MC for Mars contracts, punch board one, side B, side F, so front and back, so uh, front side there, back side there, punch board two, that's what the front looks like, and that's what the back looks like, and punch board three, uh, front looks like that, and the back looks like that. So I'm not too sure about these three punch out bits there. Um, bit cute. I don't know what they're there for. They might be intended. They might not be. I honestly don't know. So those are the punch board punch boards that you get with Mars contracts. Let's have a look at the cards as a little creature flies across. Let's have a look at the cards that come with this Mars contracts. Again, we've got this little gold bit there which helps us to open it up as I search for that and find that hopefully. Now I'm getting a bit better at finding that bit of gold where it comes up to help take off the plastic. And we have, oh, only two of those cards and a lot more of these cards. So they look new. I don't recall seeing those previously. So they are the Mars contracts. I would imagine a couple of cards here to do with the contracts. Here we have a couple of fists. We saw those purple cards in the main game, the base game. So those those will be added. Uh, and that's the back as I saw as we saw. That is the back of the new Mars contracts cards. Let's turn them over. So let's just go through these reasonably quickly. Are they identical? Um, they look like they're identical to me just quickly looking at them so one two three of those and then are they the same they look the same one two of the nine i'll call them the nine star ones we've got one of those perform that action we've got one two three it's going to test me to try and look for differences quickly of those. We've got this one, claim an intermediate ring asteroid. Three of those, I suspect three of each. Perform that action. Three of those, perform that action. Three, uh, two of those, yep, yeah, was going to, to test me. Two of, two of that, that one there. We've now got developed that sort of missile research program, one of those. We have one of those, one of the handshake, one of two, hold on, one, two, two, three of those. Now we've got construct a red facility, two of those, two blue I'm guessing, two grey and two green facilities. And then finally this one, upgrade an outstation with a facility worth seven or more. Mars contracts, I do like that. So play the base game first, I think, then add in the Mars contracts. Now, final expansion we have here, comets. Let's have a look at the comets box artwork. And again, a very thematic. I, I like the fact that all the cards are very thematic in the way that they look and feel. Uh, so that is brilliant, well done. Kudos to the game designers and makers for doing that. Uh, was my only criticism, I think, of terraforming Mars, which I'm assuming this sort of, it, it just reminds me of terraforming Mars, which is why I'm associating it with terraforming Mars. But just continue my train of thought, terraforming Mars, the pictures on the cards were all quite different look and feel. Some had a bit of a comic artwork feel. Some of them look like real life pictures. And, and I just didn't, it didn't resonate with me, whereas these all have the same look and feel to me. So I do like that. So a small box for this expansion, which is good because it means that the base game has everything in it already. And these just add little bits uh, to it. 
And that's what you want in a game. I think you want the main game to have pretty much it all. And then there's a little bit more you can do with an expansion. And hopefully these don't cost too much more in retail if you can get them in retail, which I don't know because I got this in Kickstarter. So comments, comets, comets. They're the components that we can see there. The game setup. So you have comets obviously involved in this expansion. Put those rules back there. Two punch boards. There's the front. You can see how they look like comets. It looks like you put the comets together. I think by the looks of it, you got the top, middle, and tail section. We turn them over like that. So interesting that that one there's got dotted lines and this one here doesn't. So I don't know what's with that. It's the same on that side as well. So there, there is what is in the Comets box plus a Ziploc bag plus these extra Comet cards, I imagine. I can use this plastic again to put the Comet cards back in. I do like that. So we have these three cards and they are three different comets. Maybe each player gets one of these. I'm not too sure. Although it's supposed to be for four players. So why there'd be three, I'm not too sure. Um, oh, wow. Okay. This is really going to do my head in. So we've got this side for these cards. And then as we saw already, the reverse side with two of them similar. We've got these cards, again with that same, no different reverse side. And then those remain, I'm gonna go through these remaining two at the bottom. So that's for zero, three plus or four players. We have that dotted line we saw before and the non-dotted line that make making a bit more sense now. You can see they're both sides, one's purple. That one's got a bit of yellow, green to it and gray at the top there. Sorry, not pur purple on both of them, but just the top is different. And finally, these cards that we see here. So they all have the same back. So flipping them over, we now have these cards. So going through these, so they're numbered. See, 2219-2184. I don't know what that's about, whether that's the year. Maybe it's supposed to be the year. We have bit more writing there. Anchor, Wild, and Tempel. So they might be names of comets. We have four of that color and four of that color, which I think will match up to the different sides that we saw here. So we've got that sort of light gray. And then we've got the, I don't know what we call that color, I call it yellowy green. Mustard, mustard, there you go, that mustard color there. So it probably depends on which side of these you are going to use as to which of these cards you use. Just a guess. If you know already, please write in the com comments, not comments, the comments section for comments, not the components, the comment section for comments as well. So that is everything. I don't think I've missed anything in this unboxing. You've seen it all. Thank you for staying this far with me. Um, as always, um, well, that's a wrap for today's unboxing. Now, if you did enjoy this, uh, checking out this fantastic board game series, uh, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments, which are below. And for more tabletop gaming content, please make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also feel free to mosey on over to my Patreon page and check that out too. Uh, until our next roll of the dice, happy gaming, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much.